in this video I'm going to be looking at uh, the last validation controls which I haven't talked about which is the uh, custom validator custom validator is used to um, in order for you to decide what you want to do with it because uh, there is no as you can see from the source code it is just a bare bone and um, you can modify the content of the custom validator to your art content the usual way that a programmer uses this uh, validation control is to check uh, against the database if that item is already selected for example if you have uh, a username field let me drag and drop a text box to the web form if you ask the user to select a username user name the bots in here In the real life, when you have this kind of uh, scenario, you want to check to make sure that uh, the username that the user is typing into this uh, text field is unique. So in such case, you, you perform a check against the database to make sure that the username that the user is typing into this area. For example, if a user type username 1, you want to make sure that uh, this username 1 has not been uh, chosen by any uh, other users so uh, when they click on the button you will display an error here which says that uh, the username has already been taken uh, as you are aware that the previous uh, validation controls that we have used doesn't have their capability uh, to you for you to be able to check against the database so that's why the custom validate to allow the uh, web developer to be able to uh, write code. You have to write the code yourself and uh, the most important event for the uh, custom validator is the um, I'll show you is the server validate this server validate event so uh, that's where you have to modify to uh, perform the data check against the database also you can um, write a client side like a JavaScript here the client script validation function you can also have a, a client side validation function that you can write so that uh, your custom validator can perform the uh, validation on the client before going all the way to the server so um, if you know how to write JavaScript you can do the client side validation function and input the function name here so um, I guess and um, this is where you change the error error message so here I will say oh please select another username because they selected username is taken so that could be an appropriate uh, error message you can set the just like every other uh, validation control you can change the display property to either non static or dynamic and uh, you can modify all the uh, style to make it look as beautiful as you want uh, control to validate also as we only have the text box one you need to change that and uh, you can uh, put it in the validation group so um, I guess that is the end of the validation control tutorials and um, if you have any question or if you want me to demonstrate uh, how to use this custom validator then I guess I'll have to so uh, for the time being thank you for watching the video